What is going on everyone? So today I'm going to be teaching you how to make sure a gamer's NAT type is always open, the Xbox and the PS4, um, specifically the Xbox. The NAT type on the PlayStation usually stays at 2 unless you have uh, one of the UB router uh, modem combos, then you can go in there and usually get it to a 1. But for the most part, it's going to be a two. But this way, we'll definitely make sure an Xbox NAT type will always be open. You can also do this to a computer, but I wouldn't recommend it because you're going to be setting the device outside the firewall. And if it's outside the firewall, hackers are going to have heyday with it. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So this is with the Sage Com Fast 5260 router, independent router. So first, what you're going to want to do is you're going to log in with admin as the password. It's going to show you everything on the back of the uh, router. You're gonna go down. Um, you're gonna make sure your Xbox or other device is connected. But right here on the bottom right, where I'm tapping, right over here, it's you're gonna see the Xbox. So you're gonna go ahead and click on that. You're gonna let it load, let it load. So once it loads, you're gonna be able to say a family name, you're gonna be able to do an icon. You know, you can go and click uh, game console and it changes right there. Um, location, you can put bedroom if you want to, it doesn't matter, you can just leave it blank. But right here where it says reserve IP, go ahead and click on that. Now it's always going to reserve the 192.168.1.2, that means no other device can have .2. It will always be known as .2 and this does this based off the MAC address, which is right here where you can see me tapping, right here. Now what you want to want to do, the reason why the Sage Com router is so nice is that you don't have to go anywhere else in order to do any of this stuff. Um, except for, just got to click on a tab. So you just click on DMZ. It says no device in DMZ. You're going to go ahead and click add. It says data successfully saved. Now what this is going to do, see it says DMZ, this device is in DMZ. What this does is it actually takes the device and sets it outside of the router's firewall. What that'll do is it'll allow it to be able to talk to Microsoft, or if it's a PS4 it'll, or, or any kind of game console, it allows it to talk to the um, whoever owns that system. So if it's uh, Sony or if it's Microsoft, um, without any blockage in the network. And that's usually how and why you get a strict NAT type. If there's if the firewall is stopping communication somehow um, especially on the Xbox so that's it hope this helps you guys and this is uh, squishy I'm out of here